Hey everyone, it's Jeff with Randy the Research Rat, and today we're making a shorter video um, to uh, explain bacterostatic water and some of the issues you're going to find with it. Uh, in this space, the one common denominator with any researching is you need bacterostatic water. It has 0.9% benzyl alcohol and uh, use it for reconstitution. It's also referred to as reconstitution solution, depending on what scientific vendor you use. And the 0.9% benzyl alcohol will uh, slow or stop the growth of uh, any bacteria that may have gotten into the vial that you've reconstituted or may already be in the vial. Um, you know, it doesn't kill it. So um, I have three different uh, backwaters here. Now, the first you may have heard of, you may have not, is Hospira. It actually requires an NPI number to get in a lot of cases. Uh, it is, uh, you know, considered the good stuff. And uh, it's what Randy uses. Uh, it's, you can get it through a lot of the vendors that we have listed on our website. It's even in the backwater section. And this is what uh, anyone who's researching, uh, I recommend they use. It's uh, it's not known for giving an injection site reaction, and we'll get that into that a little bit uh, on these other two bottles I have. This typically, I think, re they retail for anywhere between you know twelve and thirty dollars, depending on the time of year and how hard they are to get. Um, it's not a regulated good, but Pfizer has decided that they don't want anyone without an NPI number getting them. So. That's the world we live in, but this is this is what we all use at Peptide Critic for our research. And then we have the gray market um, or research grade uh, bacterostatic water. Now you'll notice these bottles are actually two slightly different sizes, but they have uh, you know similar cap color. But the um, the Modern Aminos bottle is a little bit wider. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And uh, this no-name one is a little bit taller. Now, these are from China. And this is where people usually run into issues with injection site reactions or, uh, you know, <laughs> anaphylactic reactions uh, with uh, researching peptides. Um, I'm not talking shit about modern aminos here. Uh, pardon my French, but that's one thing I will be getting accused of. I'm not. They sell this. If you choose to use it, you can use it. But this is Chinese bacterostatic water. And the problem with that is they don't always test positive for benzyl alcohol if you actually get them tested. Uh, they'll just be sterile water. And you know, that's fine for one or two injections, but after about 24, 36 hours, you're gonna run into issues. Now, the modern aminos, I think these are, I think they're like 10 or $12, they're fine. Uh, I've used these. Uh, I did get an injection site reaction um, with one bottle out of like nine that I ordered, and this was years ago. Um, you know, because we couldn't get this and uh, desperate times for research and call for desperate measures. The um, this is literally the same thing. Um, bottle size pretty much depends on what the factories in China are able to get. Uh, this was a dollar and it came with no label in a package like this from a gray market vendor and it costs a dollar. So the markup on these is insane. And you know, it's good they're making money. Um, this isn't a modern Aminos thing. This is a just everyone thing. I just didn't want to take the label off and uh, you know, if they remove our affiliate, really don't care. Uh, I should also note that I've pinned modern aminos uh, peptides, Randy's pinned them, they're great. Uh, we've had no issues with researching with them. But this is the state of backwater. So when you buy backwater from any scientific research vendor, if it looks anything like this, if it doesn't look like this, it is from China. And there's nothing wrong with stuff from China. But this is the key ingredient 
in uh, what you're reconstituting. And this is always the outlier, where when people have an injection site reaction, get a little bit of hives or something terrible like that, it's the backwater. Nine times out of 10, they change to a different backwater and they're fine. So this is an informative video. Feel free to uh, spar with me about my opinions on it in the comments or ask any questions, um, you know? It's, uh, it's a weird space. Uh, also, just a note, these are in such high demand. They're actually fake ones available for sale. And there are a few research companies that were caught selling fake ones. And we don't have them on our site anymore. But, um, you know, the easiest way to actually tell is on this guy right here. Let's see, you can see there's a little QR code on the seal. And typically that's missing when um, it's fake Hospira. But, that's where we're at. We're, we're, in the, we're in the world of knockoff. So, you know, if you have a, a research grade uh, backwater that works for you and you've been using it forever, there's no need to change. But if you're new to peptides, we always, 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 always tell people we know, people we're close to, our friends use this. So I hope that helped. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thanks for tuning in from Jeff and Randy, the research rat at peptidecritic.com.